All right, Joanne texted. She said, does the New Testament address homosexuality? Yes, several places. Uh, probably the most um, direct place would be Romans chapter 1, where Paul talks about they exchange the truth of God for a lie. They worship the creation rather than the creator. And men exchanged the normal function for indecent acts with other men and women, the same thing. And so the act of homosexuality is condemned, but the homosexual feelings is another category. We all have attractions we ought not act on. So there's a difference between having the attractions and engaging in the actions. Although I will say this, do you know that Jesus ratcheted up the standards of the Old Testament when he said, even if you think about lustful thoughts, you're guilty? Thanks, Jesus. <laughs> I can't meet that standard. Yeah, that's the point. Only he can be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. So yes, all activity, sexual activity outside of the union of a man and a woman in both the Old and the New Testaments is considered immoral. It's not just homosexuality. It was adultery, fornication, bestiality, bestiality rape, any of these activities outside of the man-woman relationship were considered immoral. And a lot of people will say, well, Jesus never spoke about homosexuality. Well, actually, he did. Because in Mark chapter 7, he said, it's not what goes into a man that makes him unclean. It, what, it's what comes out of a man. And then he mentions theft, sexual immorality, and several other things. What was sexual immorality in his day? Sexual immorality was what I just said. Any kind of behavior outside of the union of a man and a woman that was sexual, outside of the union, the, the marriage of a man and a woman. That included homosexuality, rape, bestiality, everything. So Jesus did speak to it. He didn't use the word homosexuality, but he talked about the category. Our friends at the Babylon Bee, you, ever, you guys ever look at the Babylon Bee? If you don't know the Babylon Bee, you've got to go to the Babylon Bee because every day you're going to get a laugh from them. Anyway, they'll, they put up one, one uh, joke headline that said, Jesus never said anything about felony home invasion, <laughs> right? <laughs> so they got this criminal you know, on the cover of the uh, picture of him going, yeah, Jesus never said anything about this. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, yeah, he didn't say anything directly about felony home invasion, but he talked about the category known as theft, which includes felony home invasion. And even if he didn't talk about the category, it doesn't mean he was for it, right? He may not have talked anything about, say, child abuse, but that doesn't mean he was for child abuse, right? So, yes, the Bible does talk about it. The New Testament does. Romans 1... 1 Corinthians 6, Jude, there may be a, another uh, place or two. Timothy might talk about it. 